today. Uh, we're talking to Dr. Leonard Madhu, and the uh, topic is CUNY uh, 2012. And of course, Dr. Madhu, uh, I think that uh, when we left off, uh, uh, I think we've just about reached a, 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 a place where it's almost impossible to even think in terms of how uh, uh, any kind of peace could come to a situation <laughs> like this. I mean, what are some of the uh, things that are happening in, uh, that, that might uh, lead to a better, under, uh, a better resolution of the kind of problems that's happening in Uganda today? Well, the, the, the situation in Uganda, you know, vis-a-vis -vis Kony and all, other ethnic insurrections, is for African governments to treat, you know, their populations better. What actually happens is that most of the time when an African government comes to power, it becomes winner takes all. You know, they want to suppress the other group mm -hmm. you know, in order to consolidate power themselves with their own ethnic group. Like I said before, prior to independence and after independence, you know, there has been a big uh, misunderstanding, I should call it misunderstanding, between the northern ethnic groups in Uganda and the southern ethnic groups in Uganda. Uh, the southern ethnic groups, primarily dominated by the Baganda, mm -hmm. you know, don't see eye to eye with the northern ethnic groups, primarily dominated by the Acholi mm -hmm. and the Langi. Now, this has started when, when a, a Baganda king, Edward Mutesa mm -hmm. the first, you know, became the ceremonial president you know, after Uganda mm -hmm. gained independence. Like I said, Obote, who is a Langi, you know, became the prime minister. Uh, the Langi and the Acholi in north are related to the Luo mm. in Kenya. Kenya. Mm -hmm. And remember, Obama's father is Luo mm -hmm. from Kenya. Mm -hmm. So they are part of the Nilo Nitic, you know, Luo speaking people. Mm -hmm. Now, Obote crushed the Baganda and overthrew, you know, removed the king from power. Mm -hmm. And he fled to, to exile in England where he died of poverty. And the guy who led the attack on the Kabaka's palace was Idi Amin. Mm -hmm. And Obote declared himself executive president after he kicked off the, you know, mm -hmm. the king, king Mutesa. Idi Amin comes from the West Nile. He's a Kakwa, from the Kakwa ethnic group from the West Nile of Uganda. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, after he helped Obote to kick out the king, Mm -hmm. Well, he thought twice. He said, well, I'm tired of taking orders. I'd rather be the person giving King orders himself. myself. Yeah, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay. So. And, and it was just that simple. <laughs> it was that uh -huh. simple. Mm -hmm. Since I have to kick out, I might as well take over myself. Mm -hmm. you know? So when Obote was at a conference in Singapore, you know, in 71, he moved in with the help of the Israelis and the British Secret Service because Obote was having problems with the British and the Israelis too. Mm -hmm. So he stepped in and overthrew Obote and took over. Mm -hmm. So when he came in, he had to clean the, 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 the Acholis and Langis from the army, who were the backbone of, of, mm -hmm. of, Obote, of Obote, and recruited mostly Southern Sudanese and Nubians into, to form the core of his army. Mm -hmm. He couldn't trust the Baganda, he couldn't trust the Northerners. Mm -hmm. you know? So when he was overthrown in 79, you know, Obote came back, and re-establish Langi and actually dominance in the mm -hmm. army. The same, they started killing the other group again, you see. So it became a vicious circle. Museveni came back, overthrew Obote, you know, in, 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 in overthrew Tito Kelo in 86, mm -hmm. and jumped on top of the Acholi and Langi so that he can consolidate. He couldn't keep them in the army because he would be afraid they would overthrow him. Mm -hmm. So that's how Kony and Lakwena stepped in and said, hey, you know, we got to protect our people. Mm -hmm. So Kony took up arms, you know, in 87, after Lakwena's rebellion was crushed mm -hmm. because they felt under siege. Mm -hmm. Ironically, the person who was in charge of the United Nations, you know, commission mm -hmm. for children mm -hmm. and armed conflict is an actually a guy mm -hmm. called Olara Otunu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, under, under, uh, Kofi Annan. Mm -hmm. Olara Otunu was United Nations Special Representative mm -hmm. for Children mm -hmm. and, you know, and all, all that death, death and destruction for children. Yeah, and, and, and Amru Wolf and he's an actually himself, mm -hmm. you know, so they try to work quietly underneath diplomatically, mm -hmm. you know, to, to bring a resolution mm -hmm. to, to, to the problem of Joseph Kony. Mm -hmm. That's when Kony started feeling that the actually whom he felt mm -hmm. he was fighting for we are turning against, against him. him. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We are turning against him because mm -hmm. Olaro Tuna and the rest were trying to walk on there and say, mm -hmm. hey, we got to solve this in quietly. You can't be killing our own people too. 
the people mm -hmm. you say you are defending, you know. So that's when he got upset, feeling that he was betrayed and started, you know, this coach ed policy of kidnapping and rape and arson and all that. So it didn't start like that mm -hmm. initially. That's what people have to understand mm -hmm. because right now people are confused. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why is he just killing and all this? That mm -hmm. man is mad and crazy. It wasn't that way. You know, he mm -hmm. had a sense of what he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Like I said, he had three agendas, like I articulated before. Mm -hmm. Get rid of Museveni, rule Uganda according to Ten Commandments, you know, mm -hmm. and restore Acholi pride, Acholi do, pride. Do you think that second agenda is uh, uh, rule in uh, Uganda according to uh, Christian <laughs> principles? I mean, uh, because, I mean, that, that, that seems to me to be uh, about one, one of the best resolutions <laughs> in terms of what's, what's going on, because it seems that there's so much conflict going on there. It has to be some kind. Was that